Hey guys, it's Karen from Our Fall Acrylics. I'm back again. Same outfit, same clothes. This is the third or fourth video today, and I'm done. So this video is using up all the leftover paint. I'm a fresh paint gal, gal. I don't really like to store it. I just keep using it until it's gone. So I'm gonna kill off all the paint tonight and do just a smaller canvas, and then we'll move on to a new color scheme. Um, I think in the next video, I'm gonna go bigger, definitely 15 by 30, if not larger. And I plan on showing you guys a quick and easy way to get silver to show up on your canvas, like true silver, silver on top, which is a tough color uh, to work with sometimes. So, but let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. Let me get put my sweater on, get you down on the canvas and get started. Okay, back at it again. This is a, kind of an odd shaped canvas. It's a little nine by 18 inch. Um, and this is basically, as I said in the intro, using up leftover paint. So pretty much the same colors as the last video. I actually think doing deconstructed blooms is harder on smaller canvases. And I went to my playlist. Uh, if you go to my homepage, you'll see at the top like a banner and you'll see uh, a tab for playlists. That's where I have all my videos organized. And I basically have a playlist for my deconstructed blooms. And I think this is number 13 or 14. And I'm thinking it's time for me to start going bigger. So I went out and bought some um, 15 by 30 inch canvases. Uh, and a couple other larger sizes of 20 by 24, 20, 20 by 30, or something like that. Just time to go bigger. I'm trying to figure out if this is cell activator or paint, or if this is cell activator. This is thinner. Okay, so that's cell activator. And let's do three little blooms on this guy. Because it's all about the tilting with these anyway. I'm gonna change up the order too, from what I remember. So I know I had yellow. I keep putting the um, benzamidazolone yellow on top of the turquoise green because it makes a beautiful shade of green. But let's change it up and put a little bit of sockeye pigment there, followed by the teeniest tiny amount of um, firefly pigment, color art. This are so pretty together. Oh my goodness. And then let's put the other color art pigment, um, my sweet tooth, which is the pink. Let's put that on top. And then I'm gonna go back and still use my um, purple cell activator. And this is uh, blue, blue Violet by Amsterdam. And give that a little blowout. Look at that order. Where's my yellow? Oh, I forgot the yellow. Dang it. I totally did. Ugh. I need my yellow. I was taught, did I pick it up? Did I cover it? I think it's in there, because I remember saying benzamidazolone, because I can say it now. <laughs> All right, no fan. That's a lot of purple right there. It's because I didn't have enough house paint on that one edge. So I'm just going to leave it. I want this stuff here. That's the cool stuff. So I'm not going to worry about that right now. Lots of paint there. Let's do one kind of like up in here. 
see if I remember my order. So let's do teal. Sockeye. The yellow. Oh, there's no yellow in here. <gasps> oh well. Uh, Firefly. And the pink. And I think I have just enough paint for one more bloom, too. All right, blowout number two. No, oh, don't let it run off the edge. Hold on. it better with the yellow. I wonder if I can eke out enough and redo parts of that one. Yellow makes all the difference to me. That's all going to come off anyway. Yeah, that's, that's going to bug me. I really like the yellow. Maybe I just do two and redo this guy. I think three would be really crowded. Yep, I'm just gonna redo this guy. We'll leave parts of that there. But let's make a puddle right here and call them all again. All right, get it right this time. So. Enough of the sock I left. I don't like, to, I'm not one to save paint. I'll use it and keep pouring uh, until it's gone. Here's my firefly. Firefly yellow, yellow firefly. I don't think that part matters as much. Yeah, I don't think that matters. And then, low in the pink. I'll save a little bit in case I need it. And do the purple. All right. Well, that's collecting a second. Let me do this and take out some of the cell activator here in this middle. And maybe give a puff in here. Give that a second. Maybe throw some white on the corner while we wait here. Just a little bit. And then I got a bunch of negative space up here. I deliberately left negative space in between the two blooms this time instead of doing one on top of each other. Oh, that's awfully pretty. We'll have a cool background from the first bloom um, since it's kind of layered on top of each other. 
I'm going to remove some cell activator right here. And that's it. Maybe a little dollop right here. And right here. I like how it makes little flowers with my finger. Okay. Let's kind of liking this. I was initially gonna just like pour that off and be done with it, but let's let's not. Let's bring things my way for a second. Kind of stretch things out, get coverage now that I have regular corners. Bring this one down. Let me take a little off. Awful, awful bloom like this one is. Awful. It's not awful, but you know. But sometimes it's just so pretty, you don't have the heart to do it. This might be one of those times, after, especially after the last two videos where I felt like I really tilted the hell out of uh, both of those paintings to get it looked, looked the way I wanted it to look. So, just putting coverage on my corners here and staring. I mean, I like that they're not in the middle, right? I think I want this one to come off one corner. Maybe. If I can't get there, I'm not going to worry about it. I'd have to really stretch it all out. Do I want it? Do I care that much about that corner? I don't think I do. I could take a little more off this way just to get rid of some paint and some weight. So let's make some stretch marks on your side and then swing this back and even it out a little bit. And then bring it back. I'm just kind of rocking back and forth. We'll go up near the top just to lose some white paint. Get it close and then swing it back. Oh, an exercise in removing paint. And take a whole bunch off this bottom here. Now let me see if I'm gonna leave it bloom like. I, mm, I'm so torn. Or do I want to um, deconstruct this a bit more? I don't like the way this one looks now. From all the stretching. It didn't. It made it worse, not better. Let me see if I can fix it. Yeah, see, I'm all about wrecking things. I just I just have it in me to wreck. I just got to wreck it. <laughs> you guys are going to be like, no, don't do it. And I'm going to be like, yes, yes, I want abstract. I want abstract. And then maybe you'll be like, oh, I shouldn't have done that. It was so pretty. Let's leave some of that on there part of it. And I'm going to take it across and go up and I got it. Ooh, there it flew off. Hold on. A little more, a little more, a little more off. There's a big black line I'm trying to get off. Okay.
straightening things out. I'm trying to get rid of this dark purple corner at the bottom a bit. That's interesting. See, I just think it looks more interesting. I do. Mm. I need a, let me grab a paper towel. I need clean fingers because I want to stick my fingers in this. I'm going to pause for a second. Straighten you guys out a little bit. There we go. I know, I know I'm going to play this back and go, oh, it was so beautiful. They really, really were. Like, I totally get it. But it's just not where my heart lies right now. My heart lies with this stuff. And I'm going to stick my finger in here a little bit. Ooh, it's really thin right there. But see, get off some of that purple. It already made like a nice little pink and yellow line. And even if I get white, I can touch it up when it's dry. So I'm not too, too worried about messing it up. I just don't want it to be too, too dark right there. I got a little speckle of white. I'm going to keep going. Oh, yeah, see how it made like that little star? I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Like, I can, like, glaze that with yellow right there, and it would be cool. Let me see if there's anything else I want to do. Or do I call this? I love this. This is awesome. Let me stand at the bottom of it because it's not quite in the middle, and I feel like that really is the center center point or can it be a little off I don't mind things off center but um, when a painting has like cool symmetry like this one does um, it might behoove me to put it back and I think I'm gonna leave it I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna say Ta-da! Uh, yeah I like I like it very much I love the top, uh, the way the colors have uh, bled, blended and bled outside the lines. Um, I was talking to Sarah, Sarah Taylor earlier today and uh, giggling over the fact about when being a kid and wanting to color outside of the lines in the coloring book. I was definitely that kid. So, yep, let me get you down for a close up. Okay, here's a close-up of the wet results. Much quieter and softer and serene compared to the big brother sitting there waiting to go under the tent. Same color scheme. Just soft and pretty. And then you've got this whole feature thing in the middle. I don't know what it is. I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna make that little thing yellow. Like the sun peeking out of purple clouds or a mountain or I don't know I don't know what it is it is cool oops sorry for the shadow it is cool though and I love all the fine lines like I'm just you know a sucker for that stuff there falling off the edge here and I really really like the colors at the top here that that's what it's all about let me turn it sideways you can see the whole thing and then stay tuned for the dry results. Yep. Hey guys, back with the dry results of this piece. I haven't figured out a name for it yet. Still pondering. Uh, I'm in love with the top. Like the watercolor effect, amazing. That center, the focal point, and then some cool lacing, and then back to the watercolor effect. 
very, very pretty. There's that one. But just for giggles, let me show you something. You can stare at my plants for a second. See if I can do this without jiggling too much. Here's the one from the last video. Let me get these set up. One. This current video. Stick, whoa, stay there. Two. And then a bloom. Three. All the same color palette. Three very different results. Let me know your favorite in the comments section. And uh, yeah, let me uh, flip around and say goodbye. I just realized I forgot to uh, include like the little guy with the three I just showed you. Because it's like a little, a little set, right? So that's the end of the little trifecta for this series. Definitely gonna move on to some new colors. And uh, yeah, look for silver, definitely. I'm gonna be on a silver kick, I think. Yep, I'll see you guys in the next video. Please like, share, and subscribe. I need a bobblehead that just says that for me, <laughs> like this. <laughs> you guys take care, I'll see you soon. Peace out.